Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Michelle Griego. We have a wonderful show for you this morning, from a powerful art exhibit to an organization that champions girl empowerment to a local wine company with a global focus. But first off, get ready for Volta, Cirque du Soleil's thrilling new show, and it's in town just in time for the holidays. And with us this morning is Kia Eastman, one of Volta's amazing performers. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. I am so excited for you to be here because I think it's amazing. I've seen a few Cirque du Soleil shows, and it's it's just amazing what you guys oh, do. Thank you so much. Well, what tell us what Volta is about. Volta is a very unique show, um, unlike any other show, Cirque du Soleil show you'll see. It's a lot about self acceptance and you know personal. You're you're experiencing your journey through your your self acceptance. So what I think is really cool about it is that it, you anybody can relate to it. Anybody can find their own story, whether it's a physical feature, a, an interior thing, whatever it is, you can find your relation to the story. I mean, see, seeing some of these performers in this video right here is pretty cool. What do you do in the show? Um, I'm an aerial acrobat, so I do both um, bungees, which is I drop from 45 feet up in the air, and over boys who do Swiss French. And then I also do acrobatic ladders. Um, so I'm. That what we're yep, right that's here. what we're seeing right here. I'm on the top. So Does yeah, it it's really ever fun. Get scared? I mean, obviously you can't be afraid of heights. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I am slightly. I I have a, an awareness to it, but you have to just kind of suck it up and get over it. <laughs> I, do you ever get nervous or scared of course, during of course. some of the performances? I always say, if you're not nervous, you don't love it anymore. Oh, yeah. I love that yeah. thing. All right. So how did you get started in all of this? I started very young actually. I was seven years old when I started circus and I was a gymnast prior to that so I stumbled into circus. <laughs> My mom saw a flying trapeze workshop and thought, oh that'd be a fun Saturday activity. Little did she know I'd get bit by the bug and here I am. And you're still doing <laughs> still it. You're still doing it. You're still performing. Yep. What was it about circus that um, you loved? Well, as a competitive gym gymnast, I really hated the competition aspect but I loved to perform what I was doing. And circus just, it takes all of that in. It's still the same type of training. I love to work hard. I love that nothing comes easy. It's always a challenge, um, it's same as gymnastics but I can perform it for a crowd and you get a different type of feedback rather than a judge writing your score on a piece of paper. So that's what really drew me to it. I mean, there are shows that you can go and see these amazing um, acrobatic feats, but Cirque du Soleil, it kind of stands on its own. You know, mm -hmm. when you go to Cirque, Cirque du Soleil show, it's kind of above the rest, right? It definitely has a reputation and um, hopefully never disappoint. It's <laughs> true. Um, have you performed in any other Cirque du Soleil shows? No, this is actually my first. I've been with Volta for just over a year now. That's great. So for people going to see Volta, how does that, how does it stand out from all of the other Cirque du Soleil shows? Um, well, we have a lot of things like street sports and extreme sports going on in our show as, as well as electronic music, which is really cool. So we try to take the free spirit aspects of sports that are outside in the world that you would see like rope skipping and BMX and things like that and tie them into our show and put them under a big top tent. So it sounds like it really appeals to young people too. Absolutely. The kids go nuts for the BMX. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Do you have any pre-show rituals to kind of help you through the show? Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, some of it is just listening to music or watching Netflix okay. while I'm doing my makeup. That's always a good one because it calms me down. What do you watch on Netflix? Uh, Friends right now. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm right. binge watching so that. that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I try to do something that I don't have to like completely pay attention to because sure. I have to be putting on a face of makeup. Mm -hmm. um, but then I team up with my partners. I have three, par two partners. I'm the third. Um, we rotate through bungees and ladders, so I don't have to do both acts every night. Um, and we get together and we do little fun, silly things with each other, and it's really fun. It seems like trust is a big Absolutely. part of this. Absolutely. Cast. Yeah, trust is, you have to have trust, otherwise, you can't go out there and do your job. Has anything ever gone wrong in the middle of a performance and how do you pick up after that? Of course, things go wrong all the time, but you know, the show always has to go on and it depends on what the what the situation is, but you always pull together, look at each other. We always go through step lists of, is it safe? How do you feel? How are your nerves? Are we good to continue? Let's put a smile on you, just keep going. Safety is key. Safety is always key. Did your mom ever tell you, ah, maybe you shouldn't do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, she gave up probably when I was five. Okay, <laughs> that's what she knew. Read before. Thank you so much Thank for coming so on. Much. Good luck with Volta here Thank in you the very Bay Area. Much. Awesome. Uh, Volta runs through February 3rd under the big top at AT&T Park. And for ticket information, just visit CirqueDuSoleil.com slash Volta. Up next, using art as a vehicle for hope and change when Bay Area Focus returns.